found out X was a serial cheater after breakup, helped me make sense of it. For the last 10 years, I've been in a relationship. The fact that I wished to end the relationship numerous times was due to my feelings for him as a family member. However, we were very different people. He was someone with little energy and motivation who preferred to stay at home, whereas I was someone who was extremely energetic and ambitious who preferred to be outside. But I'd always chosen to stay, partly because I had so much on my plate that I didn't want to deal with meeting new people, and partly because he checked all the core boxes that I knew my friends were having problems identifying in other people. It's important to note that I realized that partnerships are a two-way street, but he was so passive that everything always appeared to be my option, which is why I'm presenting this as if it were my decision rather than ours. As another crucial reason in our eventual separation, the fact that I was only carrying the two of us was a consideration. He was really pleasant, supportive, and trustworthy, in addition to being stunning and, according to many. He was a great guy, although I considered him to be too low energy to find him appealing in the same sense. The truth is that he was the only person in whom I had complete confidence, as were many of my friends and family members as well. He had a passive demeanor, which I found irritating, but when combined with his sympathy, he gave the impression that he couldn't possibly hurt you. When I was in fifth grade, I happened to catch him on a date with another girl. Due to the fact that it was a complicated fabrication, this should have triggered an alarm. The fact that he had cheated on me left me sad, and I couldn't believe it. He, on the other hand, made every effort to convince me that it was a one-time incident. Let's fast forward four to five years to the present. Following an unsuccessful effort at an open relationship, at my request, and after realizing that this was not the right relationship for me, I ultimately broke the connection, and probably for him. To be quite honest, I was more concerned about losing my best friend than I was about feeling bad about abandoning him. However, despite making a promise to be best friends, we ended up breaking up, again, driven by me. We stayed good friends. After that, we stayed close friends for the next two years. Despite the fact that we had a convoluted network of friends, we were able to sort it out. Following our divorce, I met someone who made me feel true joy and love for the first time since I was a child, but I felt guilty for being happy because every time I spoke to my ex-boyfriend, he was depressed and complaining, and if asked about his love life, he would say, oh, you know me, I don't even know where to go, I'm not doing anything. When I confided in a close friend who was familiar with him about my guilt about being delighted, he responded with, what are you talking about? When I was with him last week, he was having with two other women at the same time. He, on the other hand, insisted that he was not seeing anybody. He'd always been like this, terribly low on energy and usually bringing me bad and unpleasant news. Like, I'd be the first person he'd contact if anything went wrong, and things always went wrong for him, so I'd have to come to his rescue. And then I'd have to find out the fantastic news for myself. Also, I have to confess that I was always more successful than him in getting the things I desired, and I felt bad about it and had to minimize my success since he was struggling to find work at all. I was always there for him and helped him apply for school and employment. So, around two years after our separation, I was feeling bad because I had never been happier in my relationship, and my ex, well, he was still whining and miserable, and he also began seeing A for whom he was developing feelings, and I suppose she wasn't accessible, so he was just very sad. I was surprised to see his, new, type, for background, I'm a feminist artist, so simply a different kind, but I was relieved that he had someone to talk to so he wouldn't bring his sorrow to me. I kept our relationship going because I felt awful for him, even though I was weary of all the sadness and negativity he brought. Then a distant acquaintance, his buddy's ex, came to me and revealed she had slept with him six to seven years before we split up, before I found out he was on a date. Given all of this and some additional background, I'm 100% certain he was a serial cheater and slept with numerous others while he was with me, with no protection. So here's what I think, I'm disgusted because he was inconsiderate of my health. I'm surprised because I believed I was skilled at reading people, and I can't believe he's a cheater. I had several moments when I suspected anything was wrong, seeing his co-workers flirting with him, him acting foolish, and me gaslighting myself into believing I was insecure. I'm upset because I wanted to break up with him so many times, and even when we were in an open relationship or broke up, it was all my fault. Why would he not break up when he had so many chances? I'm also upset since he compromised my health by, for example, failing to inform me of the herpes event. I'm perplexed since I stopped passionately loving him before we even broke up and haven't had any feelings towards him since. So I'm not as emotionally affected as you would be if you were in love or in a relationship. But I'm also at a loss for words to express how I feel. I'd love to hear your thoughts and how you can assist me understand how I'm feeling and how I can go on and trust again. 
I'm still angry, particularly since he's broken up the dynamics of my buddy group because I don't want to see him. I just recently discovered this subreddit and learnt the phrase serial cheater from it. And it has been really beneficial to recognize this as archetypal behavior. Story 2. I cheated on my ex-husband and still feel like a horrible person. I got engaged to my high school sweetheart when I was 19 years old. He was a jerk to me. He routinely cheated on me by other females, potential blowjob, and even asked my closest friend for nude images. I had reached the stage when I was falling out of love with him. I intended to depart in August, when I began college. However, I discovered I was pregnant. He was emotionally and psychologically abusive to me, saying things like, I never truly loved you until we had our daughter. I began working when my daughter was three months old. I got pals with a co-worker who was ostensibly married but divorced. My fiancé informed me one night that he no longer loved me or wanted to be with me. In my sad condition, I contacted a co-worker to vent and weep with me. We ended up having when he came over. The following day, fiancé and I reconciled, and I informed him about a work buddy and I kissed, but that was all. I told him I had emotions for a co-worker and that I thought I should leave my job. Fiancé advised me to stop talking to him and just get on with it. So every time my fiancé and I fought, I'd contact a work buddy and we'd end up having. I ended myself falling in love with this man. But the guilt ate me alive, so I'd ended it random till my next battle for my fiancé. I got married to my fiancé around three months into the affair, I know, foolish, but in my 19-year-old head, I believed if I simply married him, I'd be able to stop having emotions for my work buddy, and three months later I informed my husband about the affair. I was hoping he'd leave me, but he seemed to want to sort things out. So I cancelled my meeting with a co-worker and chose to talk things out with my spouse. I found out I was pregnant two weeks later. Husband was, for understandable reasons, he was horrible to me, he phoned a work friend's wife and told her everything. According to the evidence, they were never separated or divorced. My heart was torn to pieces. My colleague and I made the decision to end our relationship for good and concentrate on our marriages. Informed me that if the child turned out to be his by some miracle, we weren't having, so I knew it was workmates, he would stay, but if it turned out to be someone else's, he would go. As it turned out, the child was born, and a paternity test indicated that he was not my husband's child. The spouse, on the other hand, stayed. He was, on the other hand, a jerk to me. I was constantly referred to as terrible, disgusting names and was made to feel inferior. I was no longer authorized to work, and as a punishment, he ordered me to notify both our families and acquaintances about the situation. He, on the other hand, cherished my son as if he were his own. I stayed with him out of a sense of regret. The affair ended in my husband leaving me four years later, we had three children at the time, my oldest and youngest were his, our middle kid was my ex-work pal, but we were able to get a divorce and are now both happily remarried and in good health in their new partnerships. Since it keeps me up at night thinking about how many people I've damaged and the lives I've destroyed, I've decided that cheating will never be an option for me again. I'm still baffled as to how or why I allowed myself to become that person in the first place. It was just something I needed to do to get it off my chest. Please be understanding, as this occurred 8 years ago and I was able to keep my sweet, handsome, and great child out of the fight. Thank you for bearing with me while I vented about something that continues to occupy my life.